Paul. He's on. He's off. Do you fish need shelter? These are the Absolutely. sights and sounds of the first ever Idaho Conservation Officer Camp held last summer in Cascade, Idaho. No! As officers and dedicated sportsmen, these game wardens have witnessed fewer kids spending time in the outdoors. It's just easier for um, parents to provide technology. It's just easier for kids to stay inside than, than go outside and find something meaningful to do. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, yeah. The reason we wanted to do it, nice. if we're truly going to be a, the Officers Association and we're interested in the future of the hunting and fishing thing, best place to start is the kids. The officer's plan is to provide one-on-one -on -one instruction and plenty of time for kids to practice their new skills. Yeah. They're pretty good. How many did you shoot? Ten. It's hard to hold it, so I had to shoot again. Campers weren't the only ones learning new skills. I've learned it takes a lot of patience to wrangle ten kids for a week. At the end of the week, everyone considered the camp a success, and officers committed to doing a second annual conservation officers camp in 2011. It's been a blast. It's just been a blast. Getting kids involved in any type of outdoor activities, whether it be hunting or fishing or hiking or bird watching, anything is just uh, so important in terms of getting people engaged in the natural, the natural world. For Be Outside, I'm Michael Keckler.